Now that we have learned the basics of Microsoft Publisher software, let us move forward and try to learn how to download a picture and trace it with this software. We may use another program that will do this task automatically for us. However, we like to show you how to do it yourself with Publisher. So you get used to manage this software like a pro. The best way to get started is to find a line drawing or a silhouette image. If you do this it will be much easier. It is important to know that some images are copyright protected. This means that you can't use such images if you don't have the permission of the author. To avoid such inconvenience we suggest that you will download royalty free pictures only. Open your browser. And in the search box type the image you want to download. Example. I am going to search for a bone line drawing. Then click on search. On the upper left choose the images tab. Choose from a variety of images provided. Scroll down the page. Choose an image that you like. Then right click with your mouse. In the menu click on save as. Then browse where you want to save your image on your computer. I will save it on desktop. When the image has downloaded minimize or close your browser. Then open Microsoft Publisher. Go to Insert tab and choose Pictures. Browse for your image. In my case I know it is on the desktop. Select the file and then click on the Insert button. By now you should be able to see your image opened in Microsoft Publisher. OK, now let us trace our image. Try to use your mouse wheel while pressing the control key. You will notice that you can zoom in and zoom out. This is a very handy method so you can be more accurate in your tracing. Now, go once again to the insert tab and under the shapes menu and select the free form tool. With your cursor go on your image and left click to start tracing. Every time you click your left mouse button you'll create a point. Also referred to as anchor point. The more points you have the smoother your image will be. Continue this procedure until you trace the whole image. As you see here I have traced my image at one go. Then I removed any fill shadings from my tracing. But I still need to make some tweaks so my image will look perfect. You can do this tracing a line at a time but if you will leave a gap in your tracing dot the laser machine will skip this part leaving your image attached to your stock material. Example. This is bad. And this is the way it should be. As a beginner we suggest you to try and trace your image at once. And then correct little mistakes later. Here we will show you how. Zoom in. In this way you will have a better view of what you are doing. Right click on the selected piece. Choose edit points and move the desired points accordingly.
You can also add more points if you want so you will have a smoother image. Using this method you can also delete points that you do not want. Select your work and drag the traced image on a clean area of the page. And delete the original picture. Remember to make your work according to your dimensions. If you don't remember how to do it please refer to the previous video. Then save your work on the desktop. Please name the file with your name in your class. Then the teacher can send your work to a lab technician so she or he will process your work on the CNC machine. Hope you have found this lesson useful. We encourage you to practice these skills and experiment on this entry level software. You'll be impressed how many beautiful designs you can do in the near future. Till the next time. Goodbye.